think so, but it just didn't work out last game. So I guess they're sort of afraid of picking it. Yeah. But as we're talking, I mean, it didn't seem like Tremble was the reason last game. I think it's a fair. No, it was sort of just. Uh, I think uh, what are they called? Nightmare Knights just had a good idea of how to deal with all that single target burst on the on Mr. Gang's side. Mm -hmm. uh, but this game, there's no Sulfuris, right? There's no Riptide. Um, they already picked Parasites, that's why I say no Sulfuris. And they have Behemoth, which is a much better hero for deal dealing with uh, multiple cores. Yeah. So I think Tremble is a yeah a great choice here. Well, they're spending a lot of time thinking about this. They finally do go the tremble, but clearly uh, that was not an easy decision for them. So uh, all the way down to 16 seconds already of extra time. Mage Bane, the final third pick here. And a pretty quick response for Nightmare Night, so. Well, it's definitely a defining pick. They say this is the sort of lineup we want to play, but they give the... Uh... They give Mr. Gang one pick here to try to make some sort of response. Because now Mr. Gang knows, okay, they're playing this Mage Bane lineup. They probably want to have a little bit of ganking on the last two heroes and then just split around with Mage Bane. How do we want to deal with this? They can say now. Gladiator. Gladiator, I think that's uh, great. Yeah, showdown probably. Yeah, it's a great catch for the Mage Bane. It's a great fighting tool for the four-man squad that's going to be on Nightmare Knight's yeah. side. It's just a great AoE all around to support the Tremble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so gave them that information and they gladly uh, respond to it. Again, that's definitely a Hellborn advantage, of course. Um, Pyromancer is going to be the first man off the back. Kind of interesting there to start, but Pyromancer into Prisoner now. So we'll see how it continues. Interesting bands. Yeah. Ripping. <laughs> I don't know where these are coming from here. Definitely not your typical ones, though. I mean, they don't have a support option here on Mystery Gang's side, so he's he's taking out heroes that could be supports, I guess. <laughs> Tyron Revenant. Hmm. They banned out Prisoner. Um, there you see him, the Andromeda ban. I don't think they had to ban Prisoner until they saw the Andromeda ban come out. Um... Because the prisoner doesn't do that much unless you can be in there and hit the tremble. And with Gladiator ulti and Behemoth, that becomes dangerous. Yeah. Of course, it's still going to be good if you can get it off. But with Andromeda, it would have been a complete, complete waste of a pick. And they always have the last ban on Hellborn's side. So, yeah, they didn't have to ban it first. But it's a small issue. The Magmas final ban, and now Moraxis coming out for Mystery Gang here. So they got their middle option. Well, it doesn't have to be middle, I guess, but possibly middle. Well, Hellborn can choose their support to zone out the Moraxis here. So it should end up being middle Moraxis. Okay. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. They pick Blitz. Yeah, that's... He's definitely not... Now, it was interesting. We actually saw Blitz uh, against you guys. Um... Cyrox was playing it over there for 2-0, and he actually did not level up Pilfering, and Shorkan was all over him for that. I believe, you, yeah, you were on the Moraxis. He did not level pilfering. up Pilfering, the That's W. That's this ability you're supposed to level up when you're zoning. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> so I'm not sure what that was. I had a pretty good time on lane that game. <laughs> yeah, that's what we were saying. Well, if he Moraxis had is just fine against the Blitz, so yeah. I don't know. I guess Legion is going to... Think hard about this. So they got a lot of time to do that, obviously. They still have another minute here of their extra time if they choose to use it. But yeah, it's pretty much their suicide or their middle is what it's going to come down to now for them. So well, either I see two options here. They should either look for a way to make it harder for Behemoth to get that ulti off, or they should look for just another sort of stunning damage dealing hero that will go a shrunken head so that they can be in there on the tremble and uh, deal damage to him. Hammerstorm so like a thun pretty a good. Thundering hammerstorm. <laughs> I'm not sure if you uh, if like, someone from my team has talked to you about Hammerstorm but at one point uh, Slapped was saying that yeah, Hammerstorm, <laughs> that hero is a counter to tremble. You just max the 
what's it called? The Galvanize. Yeah, and you give he... 14 armor to your entire team. And Tremel does nothing. He yeah. does nothing. I like and, it. And uh, we all had a good laugh. We all had a good laugh again about that. And Zav's laughed is a smart person. I like him. That mm -hmm. makes a lot of sense there. <laughs> uh, one day. One day. We do see bubbles, though, coming out. Yeah. So. And uh, this still means that there's an option. Maybe, maybe the bubbles is mid. Maybe the bubbles is suicide. We don't know. Yeah. I think they're afraid. Yeah. They don't want probably don't want to put a Morexis off lane. The the fact that Super KG plays it reflects that too. Mm -hmm. Because in case there's a trial lane up there, the Morexis is probably gonna get himself killed. Let's yeah. So they are gonna send a middle, it looks right. like. With the bubble suicide pending some crazy lane setups here. That's what we'd expect. We did have some crazy stuff last game, to be fair, but... Difficult to predict this. Alright, who... Their course. Who's their course? So, just V and Fine are probably going to be supporting some sort of a tri lane. Maybe with Pebbles? Well, Gladiator has a hatchet, though, so... He has a hatchet. Okay. Maybe a jungle Gladiator? Could be. Maybe? I'm not sure. This is difficult. Yeah. I I mean, Pexu obviously does it for 2-0, so Jungle Gladiator is definitely not out of the question here. Pebble's buying the items for some sort of tri lane or dual mid setup. With a buckler and not a hatchet. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. They're getting sneaky here. Trying to see if they can catch somebody in the jungle, but Aluna... Not giving them the chance, so. If they were going to try lane, they could just have placed the ward behind the tower and probably have caught a Luna. Oh, yeah, they, they, yeah, they definitely, I mean, with Behemoth especially. Yeah, the Luna was in a position where, yeah, he was in harm's way for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did not, hmm. though. They don't even block any camps or anything like that, it looks like, unless Blitz is still, he does have a ward of sight still. Okay, there we go. Want to block for the pool. pool. Yeah. All right, so we are looking at a tri lane with, uh, yeah, with the pebbles. All right, gladiator mid. So he ends up mid. Okay. Hmm. So. Okay, this uh, is up to the parasite and the side lane. So I think uh, mage prince is gonna be pretty safe down there. He's not gonna die, I don't think. But uh, it's up to the the two side lanes now. How much the parasite can get done? Mm -hmm. I think that's gonna define how this game goes, pretty much. Well, you see uh, Noob McNoob here on that parasite. He's headed towards the top and has those boots. Gonna find a Minotaur here to start and let the let the farm begin. So you got Behemoth and Blitz. They're roaming through, seeing if they can maybe find Parasite. They already have the dual mid with a Luna, but this could be a kill very early on if the Gladiator is allowed level two here. Yeah. Still Just do one more creep, I think. Yeah, one more creep should get it for him. He gets that pitfall. Then be able to combo effectively. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now they're, they're going. Uh oh. Oh, he went arcade shield though. Yeah. They're gonna. Oh, wrong side. He's alive. <laughs> <laughs> that angle. Yeah, he saw Behemoth gonna run up instead. That could definitely have been a kill. Otherwise, they baited out the arcane shield. Oh, yeah. Now Mage Pain gets some last hits at bottom. Oh, no, Gladiator. No, he's going to be fine, but Parasite coming in. Harassing, I guess, a little yeah. bit. He's just going to go back to his jungle. And, yeah, Hellborn didn't block a single camp. So uh, he's going to be able to farm in there just fine. Oh, that's Meanwhile, we see it's up. Bubbles Good is damage fine. from Tremble. Something you'd be... Worried about there. Uh, don't die to tremble. That's who said bubbles. That would be bad. So we see Shorken really trying to get some damage done. He's at 30% right now. Hero damage done. Oh, yeah, really harassing him. Middle lane, more access. Again, it's going to be fine. Invis on Blitz. Unfortunately, he's going to be seen by this Rev Ward, though. So if he's trying to set up for a kill, which it looks like he is, they're not going to give him the chance. Yeah, the wards are already out from Stan March. 
partially the one spotting the rotation and the rune on bottom, and then the rev ward. Very interesting rev ward. Yeah. It's like if there's a riptide here, it makes sense, but. <laughs> I, don't know I mean, they is. know. Okay, at least a kill doesn't. Or does it? There we yeah. go. They get the bloodlust. Well, yeah. That's really good. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. Yeah, he's the only place he can do any harm is mid. So why do they need the rev ward? But well, a free kill, <laughs> free bloodlust. Yeah, that's huge for them. Blitz and Blitz and Pebble, or not Pebbles, but Blitz and Behemoth. Excuse me. They they remain level one for the time being. You see Behemoth right here. He is going to get the stun on a short cut. Can he get the shelter? If he can, he gets the distance. Just enough in the bottle charges to keep himself alive in the end. Against this. So this is... escape. They start with the tri lane, but now you see Catlamane farming 300 DPM. Just minus on 200. This is not what you're looking for here. You need the blink on the pebbles. They're not securing it. There's the showdown pitfall combo, but the stomp from Moraxis. Blitz, he gets in there for the Blitzkrieg still, that quicken applying it. In comes the Ever Lightning, though. Down goes Blitz first. Aluna goes down too, but at least she ended up getting the kill on two. Blitz there. So, again, nothing really going the way of Mystery Gang so far. Even a spy picking it's, up a kill. It is a win. It is a win situation from Mist, but so? it's a small okay. win. Oh, bottom lane. Yeah, the Aluna gets the three. This is not good though for them. Pebbles has that leech going to be able oh, to use early it right exit. here. Yeah, he did take the stun because he went out too early, but it doesn't matter, I don't think. Yeah, they get the kill anyways. This is just not not good at all. The Pebbles has no boots, no bottle. It's just they need to let him pre farm down there. He sits with a, he set up for battling a lane. He has three sets of region and a buckler. It, I'm not sure. Yeah, they, they they really gave up on this tri lane very early. Yet they left a hero down here who's not strong as suicide at all. <laughs> so it's it definitely seems like that wasn't fully thought out. By yeah, Mystery he's being out farmed. It's not good at all. Well, they're gonna have to back off here on Hellborn. Yeah, they tried middle with a hasted behemoth, but unable to get anything out of it. Yeah, you want that portal key as soon as possible on Pebbles, but they definitely gave up on that idea right off the bat, which again is still so odd. And now Pebbles is having nothing, even that death here. I mean, Behemoth and Aluna, or Behemoth and Blitz, excuse me, are roaming back towards the bottom lane, but now they're being seen here. Stealth Hunter of Parasite. In fact, Mage Bank going in. He's going to be more than fine, though. You see, not enough damage. Blitz, it can't get it on time. And I was thinking about going for a turn on the Blitz, but. Yeah, iron shield and eight armor, that's too much. His his uh, steam boots was on agility, but it didn't matter. Yeah. Just too much armor. Way too tanky. And he throwing the flash buff on top of that as well when he happens to blink. Obviously, a lot of magic armor from that, even two at level one here, so. He is not an easy target to kill. The tri lane idea was fine, but they need to keep a hero down there and keep the mage pin out. Just, of course, they can't just leave the Gladiator to get crushed in mid lane, but put Behemoth behind him, and he's going to be pretty safe. Now he's dying here. There's a kill field. Axis coming out, far more Axis. Call to arms. I haven't seen this oh. in before. It actually hit. They killed. And Bubbles goes what down. Is going on? I don't know how that even happens. Gladiator is actually it. on the run. Nice stun, though. He stunned Boris to hit Gladiator as well. The power throw is another axe going to come out. It does, but he just happened to miss him, and I think it's going to be too much distance here. Oh, he landed oh, it, actually. Good well played. KG. Very well played. He takes the Blitzkrieg. In comes a pitfall, and he's going to have to turn around, actually. Meanwhile, in the background, They're Behemoth. killing Aluna. Aluna goes down. What, what should have been a kill on Gladiator, all of a sudden is a kill on Bubbles and Aluna. And Moraxis is still even on the run here. He finally gets away. There we go. I guess I called it a little bit prematurely. Yeah. <laughs> that was no, I, That was really interesting. Yeah, Shorkan did not expect the range, the distance, whatever it was on that call to arms. And he got hit by it. Meanwhile, bottom lane, they did pick off Pebbles, though. So as much as I want to be excited for the Hellborn team for that, that exchange there, it's their Pebbles is it's going to be useless in this game, it feels like. Oh, this might be a kill, though. That's a good combo. Is it a kill? Pebbles? Oh, he missed the stalagmites. The chuck's not enough. And the blink coming up in three seconds. The mystic vestment purchase. 
of Mage Bane saving him big time, and here comes the TP to get on out of here. Oh, yeah. It's the tilt. Ugh. It's just not good. Mage Bane's and Pebbles GPM should have been swapped pretty much if Miss just uh, didn't rotate prematurely. But... Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that's not... I'm not... <laughs> We saw Gladiator down here, for by this the way. Right now. He used even Call to Arms, thinking that he could maybe find Mage Bane in the trees there, but obviously that wasn't the case. So it's not a long, long cooldown, but still. It's not a cooldown nonetheless. Bubbles, he is going to Yeah, they're going to die. It's a kill. Or is it? No, no, no. It's not. He's good. Yeah, Carl again. What do you think of him not going to take cover here? Was that fine? <laughs> It's, uh, nah, you should have one level and take cover at this point, I would say. But it's always, in the moment, you might just level up a second level because you're looking for a kill or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was almost expecting him to use it right there, but then I realized yeah, he doesn't have it. Middle lane, Gladiator. Again, the pressure's real. He gets the pitfall off, but it's going to be immobilized on the next one. Yeah, it even gets the kill on top of that, so... Super KG, of course, assistance from Parasite right there. Noob McNoob, you did mention, Zimbe, from the beginning that Parasite was going to be the one to kind of control the pace of this game here, and he's 2-0-3, so he's done his job. Yeah, he definitely has. <laughs> they didn't block a single camp from him, which kind of surprised me. And now they're just they're 3k, 3k ahead, mm -hmm. looking for another kill here on Behemoth. Yeah, Luna's assisting, but not going to get anything just yet. Mage Bane again, though, in the meantime, farming away. Now, Tremble is doing well himself. The <clears throat> Cannondorf here, uh, 350 gold per minute coming out. So it's the, obviously the, the decent news. The Thunder Claw a little bit of work. But speaking of carries, Mage Bane... He's definitely one that could go a different plethora of item choices. What what would you like to see on the mage main here? Oh, that's a hard question. Um, maybe not that hard. Uh, I think the mage main should get active. I'd like to see that just because of the advantage they have already. Mm -hmm. He's probably going to get a cleaver by the looks of that life tube, though. Yeah. What do you even buy on a mage point to get when I get aggressive uh, Elder Parasite? <laughs> Not sure. We've seen that before. I've heard about that even. I know we. I think we've seen that once or twice. That idea, but yeah, I guess. Or you could argue like a helm. Maybe a helm wouldn't be the worst thing ever. If that's the case, but yeah, helm's alright. But the mage's gonna split up the iron shield. Is it that fancy? Oh, a kill up top. Yeah. Bubbles. See, just been getting something done. That's. Well, it's fine. He's buying Striders now. Well, he's trying his best to get something going, mm -hmm. which I I respect that idea. And I kill mid too. Two kills mid? Uh, maybe. The hero blocking, using those illusions. This is very well played. Here comes Parasite though. And nope, it's going to be two kills and maybe a turn kill though, unfortunately. So close. That behemoth finished on. Yeah, just not enough damage. He's only level five. Meanwhile, Gladiator will escape. And now Parasite's on the run. That pilfering doing work. He, he's going over to the Ancients. You, know, you can't take over Ancients, so <laughs> he's trying to distract them. If anything, the Leech comes out on a Gladiator, but he's not going to be able to chase him down. Here comes Bubbles, however. He does have a Kelp food. Oh, he could have used it there, I feel like. Oh, and he ends up using a Blitz, but it's not enough for the kill. If he used it on the Tremble. Gladiator as well, that could have been something. Now Tremble, Tremble joins the party. Bubbles is going to end up falling in the end. Parasite just fight. keeps running. That was a very messy fight, but I guess Mystery King, they, they like it in the end. They come out on top of it. Scrap pile there, so. But Mage Bane was continuing to push bottom while that happened, so that's still yeah, something. It's just happy farming away. He has a sustainer now. 400 GPM. Which, ugh. Oh, it baffles me. <laughs> they started the tri lane and then they just completely leave it. Yeah. And let him completely just take over the lane. All good. A war behind the tower to make sure he doesn't get set up on by the gladiator. Mm -hmm. It's been there for almost three minutes already. <laughs> you see there, finds like, all right, something's up. He's going to put the red board down. And sure enough. You have to be. Kettle might really show that the ward was there. That's something you have to be a little careful about, I think. Reacting to it right away, yeah. He's maxing stats, actually. 
Like, it's no, it's no levels in Master of the oh Mantra. Oh my gosh, wow. And he has only one level in Mana Combustion. I find it really weird. Meanwhile, Pebbles goes down at the top lane. Mentioning he went to Striders here. He's really just trying to get anything going. He, he got the tower though again. He, yeah, that's true. They get the tower. That helps. Meanwhile, middle lane, more Axis. Arcade Shield pop. He's looking to set up a turn with his teammates. Bubbles coming in. There's the mana rift to secure it. <laughs> and just to make sure, call it a warm so What a shockwave on top, and that sets up the one kill. But unfortunately, it might not be enough. You do see that 50% damage reduction. It's still not enough, though, for Behemoth to get away in the end. So good uh, take there for the Legion side. The two-for-one exchange ultimately happening in the middle. Um... But yeah, I want to go back to the Mage Bane, though. The level 4 in the Flash, the 1 into the Mana Combustion, and then stats other than the 1 into his Mana Rift. So well, The idea is obviously that he wants to just survive the burst. They have, he is going to get caught because there's a Gladiator, there's a Behemoth, and there's a Pebbles, even if he's not looking to get a PK anytime soon. Mm -hmm. It's still... Or, yeah, the Pebbles. Um, there's just... There's a lot of burst, and he just wants to survive it, and he puts that over just, you know, blinking on the pebbles and maybe burning all his mana, yeah. which could have been the other uh, possibility. But that's that's a fine that's a fine idea, I think. Yeah, I guess the Q doesn't become as useful until like the Leza later game because of how it scales with the max mana of the target. Then you wanna of course make it's sure not, it's maxed, but it's not that big of a difference I've noticed. Yeah. When they have, have like 300 mana, the difference becomes almost nothing. Oh yeah, of course. Kill them mid again. Nice kill there. So yeah, that's what I'm getting. It seems like yeah, the earlier game, it, it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of point to level it up. So, but passing up them. Oh, he jumps into a couple right here. The veiled rod is exposed. Here come the TPs, and now press us already there. This gonna be a kill on. Somebody, there's a turn. Oh, there's a blink yep, on the gladiator. That portal key on Moraxis helps with this, and Behemoth falls as well. So yeah, the portal key Moraxis showing that right here. <laughs> I'm actually a little surprised they managed to get five there so fast. Yeah. They moved in and made it work. Mage being the second broadsword. There we go. He purchases it, and now that rune cleaver coming. Puzzle box level two, I want to say. Yeah, it's going to be coming to Parasite in the meantime. So. And they're going to get the secondary tower with these. This gold lead is going to be difficult to deal with. Yeah, Tremble. He's he's up there, though. He's having a shrunken head. It is it is a little better than last game. That's for sure. But it's yeah, but is it scary. really going to lead to anything? I'm not sure. Yeah. They just they need... Oh, okay, Pebbles actually picked up his portal key right there. Wow. Okay. How he passed Gladiator. How did that happen? <laughs> yeah, that was a middle Gladiator, too. Yeah, the Midland didn't really go at all in their favor, I guess. No, it did not. Meanwhile, back over here, there's a kill into a Luna. They got the kill into Behemoth, though. First, I happened to be checking Pebbles at that time. It's like the one for one, though, coming out. But, uh, yeah, I mean, having the portal key is good, as I mentioned. I mean, he only has Striders, though, but he did get the Blood Chalice, so it helps a little bit there. Of course, making sure he's able to combo effectively. Be able to do it again. This, uh, this time around, they definitely have the comeback factor on Hellborn, though. Um, yeah. So the, I don't think they're counting themselves out just yet, but oh, that's... If he gets a kill, that's big. He does. And now he's going to turn this, too. Oh, well, no, maybe a little too scary. He did get the Arcane Shield buff. Remember, it also enhances his damage. Now he's just going to TP out. Can Gladiator do something? Yes, he can. The pitfall hit. And down goes more Axis. So he ends up paying his life Gosh. for it, but eh, he killed a Tremble. I'm really surprised that Ganondorf didn't try to back off there. Because he had full vision of the Moraxis running up. He had full vision of the Moraxis popping his ultimate. And yet he keeps on farming the camp. True. You can't just uh, expect yourself to be safe like that. <laughs> Ninja, please. Um, Good deny coming in from this man. Yeah, middle in there. Mage man, no. He got, it, he got the deny against the, uh, against the Parasite Catapult. Well, that's not easy. No, oh, and the Puzzle Book was out too, so that's uh, impressive. And yeah, especially on Pebbles with the slow auto attacks. Yeah, that's definitely just all across the board and pretty impressive there from him. So, good job on his part. You were talking about Gladiator. Yeah, his impact as, as far as farm goes has definitely been 
pretty lacking here, but he is trying to get a... But he's doing everything for his team. He's getting the kills. Yeah. The yeah, items may not be there, but yeah, that's what I was meant to bring. Point out too is glad you did. The skills are definitely coming through. And again, Call of Arms, it's still arguably one of the better ultimates abilities in the game, honestly, because of just what it does. So yeah. he is bringing that still. Looks like he's going that tablet build. Which is all right. This game it helps out a lot against just the more extra jump someone. You want to be able to get the guy out of there. I think it's a fine choice. Yeah. You just always want a tablet on your team because it's just useful. Oh man, this did not go as planned. Calamine, in fact, is in trouble now too. He is going to be able to blink away, and I think he should be fine. Yes, he will. Uh, but that was a bait right there. The Behemoth was farming it. Pebbles was right behind him, though, with a Veiled Rot. And Bubbles jumped in, thinking that they had a chance. And cl clearly they did not. In fact, it got turned Just on. Just is playing well, I must admit. Yeah. I don't think it's his fault at all that the bottom lane turned out as it did. He he was prepared for a Trialene versus two heroes and a Parasite. And his team just completely ditched him. And now he has taken a really... Uh, that position and turn it into something completely fine. Mm -hmm. I'd say. Yeah, no, it's making the best of it for sure. And now you're snowballing pebbles, but able to get some kind of activity going. The good news there, you you do see bubbles on the other side. You know, we're talking about pebbles here, but look at bubbles too. He went with the striders, now the portal key, and isn't really getting a whole lot of farm at this time. It's 230 gold per minute or so for him. So. I think the that. biggest problem for the bubbles is uh, the deaths. Yeah. When you're a, you're off lane and you're trying to look for kills, then what you don't want to do is to get yourself killed and because then your ganks are backfiring, right? You just the opposite is happening. You're feeding your opponents mm -hmm. gold when you're not getting the kills and you're dying instead. They just have to be a little bit more careful about their, what they're doing, I guess. Yeah. Mage Pain, his progression. He's got the firebrand now to to go with that Rune Cleaver. So he's dealing out some pretty good damage to especially farm right here. Probably would expect Geometer's Bane, but I mean, it could be Frostburn as well. I mean, is this a shrunken game? So yeah, there's a lot of questions actually. You think shrunken? Yeah, I wonder if... <sighs> He needs a shrunken that much is clear. There's the Pebbles, there's the Behemoth. There's just too much magic damage to ignore. Oh. That's a glide error. Yeah, Going that's down. a greedy rune right there, and he ends up paying for it. Ends it up, uh, he did bottle it up, but it's a regeneration, so I don't know if that was worth it there. I don't think there's uh, enough pressure on the Legion team right now for Catalamine to go a Shrunken Head. He's going to want to keep his hatchet. <laughs> so he's probably just going to finish off a Geometers. Oh, Bubbles pushing out bottom lane. He used the Shell Surf to farm, and, you know, that's... That itself is always pretty a risky move, uh, especially when it's pretty dark on the map, so he ends up paying for that. Another death for him, unfortunately. Yeah, he's not finding the kill, so he's trying to farm a bit more greedy, but that back that's backfiring too. <laughs> yeah. Not going very well for Shrokin right now. Tremble? What did he buy? He's ported back here. He did he finish the basher. Shrunk in. I was going to say, I thought he had the Brutalizer even coming along. This is 1800 gold saved up, so I guess he just finished the Shrunk in, and yeah, so that will be coming next year. They already have all these Gladiator ulti, the Behemoth ulti, a lot of stuns. When he gets the basher, it's just going to be almost impossible for the Legion team to take an auto attack battle. Even if they have Mage Pin and Morexes in there, I don't think it's going to help them. Mm -hmm. Veiled right here, Pebbles and Blitz. Oh, there's four people there already. They and a miss on the stun. Mites. He stuns into a stun. Not a good start. Here comes that Calfield, and this is definitely going to be two kills for the Legion side. They at least get a Luna, but yeah, obviously it's going to be lost lives for both of them. So a good idea, but they were going into too many there. <laughs> it's so unfortunate. I think it's all right that they're looking for these plays, but whenever they've done these smoke gangs, They've always run into four or five people. It's unfortunate. Oh, Ganondorf actually picked up the middle tower kill right there with his uh, Boris. But meanwhile, Gladiator gets found off to the side here. 
kind of roaming around in the Legion jungle, so ends up uh, getting a little too curious. Meanwhile, top tower goes down by Calamine. Yeah, this is going to have to be another tremble carry game, that's for sure. I mean, the GPM charts reflect that, if anything. It's all him and 260 yeah. GPM on Gladiator, who's next in line. Mr. Gang are just not being careful enough. They're not... I think they have the better team fight on paper. I think they can be behind maybe 5k and still take a team fight easily and win it. Yeah. But 10k, 10k... It's just getting harder and harder for them, and they're not going to be able to take it forever. Well, Luna here. Oh, had to use a shockwave, but does guarantee the kill. But uh, now that it's going to be on cooldown here for a little bit, obviously the Legion team aware of that. Let's see if they make I would say play. it's all right. They just need to get what they can to get themselves a little bit closer and then try to take a big team fight and win it. You got Gladiator with a tablet. Is there what kind of build do you like to see on Gladiator next? I mean, could they maybe use a little bit more damage, something like the Shroud here, or should he continue? That yes, they could damage? definitely use some more damage, but I'm not sure he's gonna go. It's hard to say. When they go a tablet, they kind of the idea when they started doing that build is that they want to just sort of help out their team. Maybe they want to go a Hex next. Yeah. To go a tablet and then into a shroud, it's uh, then you have changed your mind from what you originally planned. I'd say. Mm -hmm. We'll see though. Yeah, we will. Middle lane, tremble, <laughs> scares Shorkon right there on bubbles. Gets into blink away. Oh look! Defensively. Oh bottom fight. Yeah, that's a big catch here. Parasite. He tried to infest. He couldn't get it off in time. As down goes Beam with the mana rift in the meanwhile at Gladiator, but the stalagmites helping to stall the chase. Unfortunately, not long enough. And now Treble actually, he is caught. He pops a shrunk in. He's trying to stand his ground. Is that going to be enough? No, it's not. He goes down. Double tap for, for Catlamine there on Mage Man. I did get there a little bit late. Seemed like the Hellborn team actually got the initiation there. But it backfired. It started really well for Hellborn. Uh, they managed to break uh, KG's PK, so he let his stun whiffed. But the tremble was there too late, and he popped the shrunk in too late, so he just ended up dying without getting anything done. And they got Calamite here on that Mage Bane, pushing the tower in. Actually, falling back. I was gonna say, I mean, no buybacks are happening, so. They should. Uh, Behemoth and Gladiator both do have buybacks, but they're not gonna waste it, and so they'll be satisfied with the tower, it looks like. They're gonna fall back from there. Maybe could have tried for more, but it would have been a very greedy play on their part. Don't need to right now, you could say. 4,100 gold on Mage Bay now. I'll make that a little bit less, but that's because he bought a Dancing Blade there. So Wingbow. Going to be happening. I think they could actually just have won that fight if the Tremble was there from the beginning. And especially if they had a Shockwave along with that. This Moraxis, he's on top of a Rev Ward here with the Invis. He actually and comes out now, up. and now they're going to open on the Blitz. So they knew that Moraxis was here this whole time. They counter on a Mage Bane. Moraxis needs to do something to try to save. You see, he's trying to try and blink. No, we couldn't get it off. The lockdown was too much, actually, on a Mage Bane right there. Meanwhile, the chase continues. Treble going further. Mage Bane does have a buyback. Feels like they're committing so, too much, but he's not going to be using it here. Infest the oh, a PK on wow. Parasite. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. Now it's a TP, and he's going to get away, actually. Still an uh, advantage, Hellborn, there. Yeah. It's a good kill. I still, It's still baffling that they wait for so long to go on the Maraxxus there. Because it's on for so long. They're just not fast enough get, to get there. They don't seem very, I don't know, interested. <laughs> yeah. It's funny, though, how that worked out for them in that sense. Because they got the Mage Bane instead because of that. Yeah, with a really poor Shockwave, I'd say. They almost missed him. They had no vision of the Mage Bane. And then... They still managed to get the kill in the end. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good for them at that's least. That's what I'm saying. When they have their ultimates and they're playing in a, when they're fighting in a tight position like that, there's not much Legion can do. They don't want to go in there. They sort of just had to run out and wait. Yeah. Kongor, he's going to be attempted here. There's no TP on Rexus. KG has to start running right now, but I don't. They don't have vision. They don't see this. I it's think the power throw came through. 
So it's, isn't it too late? Yeah, it's too late though, probably. I mean, well, they're kind of yeah, looking Rex way is, over. Yeah, not going to get there. And Pirates is going to try to steal it. Is he going to try to time this? So he wouldn't oh. need to go right there, but he didn't. He Almost. So you got the token now on Tremble here. So talk about a turn of events, definitely. I mean, they're still at a 10,000 golden experience deficit here, but having the token, that's a pretty big deal. You're going to get on a farming Tremble here. Well, 10k, 10k. It's still a little too far behind to comfortably take those fights. They just need to get a little bit closer, and I think they can turn this game around. Does Tremble need to get a Savage next, seeing that the Wingbow's happening? Yeah, maybe. No, actually not. The Mage Bane is gonna die when they end up locking him down. They have all the stuns they need to keep Mage Bane secured and uh, still and just hit him down slowly, no matter the evasion. Uh, okay. He should just get a Wingbow, I think, to deal more damage. Well, the Savage deals damage too, so I guess it's <laughs> up to what he prefers, but one yeah. of the two at least. It's They both work fine. Yeah, no, it's both. Definitely could be solid in the end. It's just a matter of, yeah, does he want to maximize his damage with the Savage or does he want to give himself a defensive tool with the Wingbow too, but know that he may miss a bit against the Mage Man at least. So we'll see what Cannondorf decides here. 2,900 gold saved up, but obviously buybacks are of interest now. Uh, another tablet coming out, this one on Behemoth here. So they have a couple of those now to work with. Storm Spirit was finished on Shorkon. Speaking of that, they're going to find Blitz, but there's the counter from Behemoth. And they make it a two for nothing. Well, let's make it a two for one as Gladiator gets picked off back here. So beautiful counter from Behemoth initially. They still come out on top of number wise. So it's going to be interesting. We still ended up with uh, the Hellborn only has Tremble with a lot of gold. And I'm not sure that's the position you want to be in when there's still a big fat mage on the other team. Because. Mm -hmm. uh, KG is farmed. He's been playing really well this game. 6 1 and 13. And yeah, he's been farming throughout the entire game. A little bit here, a little bit there as well. Yeah. It's just, he has Hellflower and PK. He's looking to get a shrunken really soon. The Hellborn team doesn't really have the counterpart to Maraxxus. They don't have the answer to him. They don't have that second core with a lot of gold. And I don't think they're going to get that either. So it just has to be a case of Hellborn really using their spells well here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they one of win the fights this. with the... Uh, you keep going back to them, I and they do have a lot of lockdown. They, The supporting cast around Tremble, all has pretty strong lockdown, and then you got Tremble himself with that Brutalizer. So that's that's going to be the, the, the winning chance here for sure for Mystery Gang. I mean, even Blitz provides, you know, a good amount of those Lightning Shackles. If they're yeah, if they're clumped sure. up, isn't it, it's it a superior magic even? Uh, the slow? Say? The it, damage have, is magic, but... It feels like I have a memory of that uh, ulti slowing through Shrunken. Yeah, the type is superior magic, so yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, so the slow at least will be provided. Maybe not the damage, but the slow effect. Even if they have their yeah. shrunkens up, which, I mean, you look at the Legion team, no one even has a shrunken, so <laughs> I guess more well, access. They, they need it. the shrunkens uh, when they will decide to try to finish this game. Mm -hmm. I mean, talked about that in the draft that I thought they would try to pick. Maybe I didn't talk about it, but I thought about it. I felt like they needed another shrunken hero because. Okay. Yeah, more access may have been not the greatest shrunken heroes. They just. They need the shrunkens if they want to get in there and kill the tremble. Yeah. Now they don't really do that. They have Mage Pain, they have Rexus, but Parasite and Bubbles are not going to pick up Shrunkens this game. Waiting for Just Man here to apparently fix his mouse. We'll be good to go. Yeah, I go. think Catlamine said he was going to be away for a second as well. Yeah, again, Mage Pain 8, 1, and 4 here, 600 plus gold per minute. Of course, pretty scary mark there that also that the Hellborn team is having to go up against. But yeah, knowing that the for the Hellborn side here for mystery gain, there is definitely still hope. As 3,800 gold on Tremble once again. So curious still to see what he goes for. We knew what Mage Bane is going for, and sure enough, he finishes the wing bow there. As they're going to jump Tremble right here. They're going for the so kill, the and they're going to get the token. Where are the TPs? They need to TP in. There is one TP coming in, and it is going right. to be enough. Well, they were happy with the token, I guess. 
but it was almost like they could have gone for more. Mm -hmm. well, at least no gold lost. And that's in the end what they can't lose. They can't get further behind in the gold. Yeah. So, not the most efficient use of the token, but it's something still. Gets some kind of use out of it in the end, and continues to farm away. As you mentioned, no gold lost there at least. Not a thousand gold already saved up on Mage Bane. Now, like we were talking about with that wing bow uh, picked up by him, so. Parasite, I guess, would have to go, well, not have to, but probably go more of an aggressive. Well, I don't know, they don't have Aura still yet. Speaking of that, no Ring of the Teacher even here on this Legion side. Um, is there even a Ring of the Teacher? No, wow, neither team has any kind of Aura, <laughs> now that I'm looking at it. Oh, well, that's a dead gladiator mid. Oh, that's a nice kill. But, uh, but yeah, Abyssal Skulls, I mean, those are usually pretty good. Yeah, for sure. Um, we could see the Parasite trying to get the Abyssal Skull and the Breastplate, or a Frostfield or something along those lines. Yeah. What I don't want to see is another Health Flower. I think even Hex could be alright, but the big armor aura items are probably the best choice here. Yeah. Again, neither team having that. It's definitely, I mean, you see the Hellborn side, you know, Pebbles is going to be going that sheep stick here, so wouldn't expect it on him either, at least for the time being. Gladiator, even despite that death, he's getting upwards of nearly 2,400 gold, so still not sure yet where he's going to end up. Like, I don't think he knows himself. Yeah. Because if he wanted the Hex, he'd... <sighs> Buyback is better than an ultimate orb. Oh, they're going here for a... the more Axis. That's is a good kill. A kill. They used a couple of ultimates, the Shackles as well as the Shockwave, but gets the kill. Which and then is what they need, but there's going to be a kill on the <laughs> Behemoth. <laughs> he walks right into the trap. And they get the tower kill on top of that, so big picture, Nightmare Nights. They now are going to come out on top of that exchange right there, especially with the tower kill at the top lane. Oh, we saw uh, Gladiator buy something now. That's... Neophyte's book. Neophyte's book. Okay. <laughs> Storm Spirit. Aluna will end up dying in the end, but almost close. But you do see the Savage Mace on Tremble, so there's that answer. Yeah. But I think you're right. That's probably a Storm Spirit that's coming up here. Which goes back. He decided that he wanted to go a more supportive route with the tablet. And, uh, yeah, he decided that he was going to stick with his plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Cellborn team is definitely going to rely a majority on their abilities for damage output other than Tremble. He's going to be their one right-click damage dealer in this game. So we'll see what kind of freedom he's able to have. Again, having that Savage Mace now, he is hitting really hard here. Uh, it's just going to be the question, is the Shrunken Head going to be enough to keep him alive, actually, against the Legion team? So we got Bubbles. Nope, just kind of picking up the regen rune thing, getting away quickly. Another 2,900 on Parasite. Again, a still little surprise that we do not see Auras on either side, but neither team prioritizing it right now. Still many decisions to be made here. The Parasite, mostly, I guess. We don't know what he's going to buy just yet. It feels like there's no urgency from Legion yet, though, because then the Mageman would have gone for a Shrunken. Now it's just going for Frostwolf. Oh yeah, just gonna tank up instead, prevent kite somewhat. Uh, yeah, I imagine he would try to get a shrunken if they were looking to end the game, but they are comfortable doing this to just yeah, let's keep on farming. That's all they want to do. <laughs> Thing with they this are is, getting ahead. As we speak, so. Yeah, we see there. I mean, yeah, the Legion team is, but at the same time, Bubbles, unfortunately, getting caught there. So they keep getting kills, but it's so funny because on the Legion team. Three players sit on four deaths in total, and two players sit on 18 deaths in total. <laughs> That's true. That's a good point. Yeah, Luna and Bubbles have fallen victim. And, but it, it, we also saw there, I think with that, it, that was all five heroes, essentially, of Mystery Gang that went yep. up there to, to kill the bubble. So, yeah, I mean, getting kills is always a good thing. It's just they, they use a lot to do that. So still not the greatest ever for Mystery Gang. See more access with another Invis rune. This is, uh... <laughs> These Invis runes are going out of hand. Oh my gosh. Right. Is TP. he actually... 
It's the Mage Pin. No, it can't be the Mage Pin. It's someone else. It's, it's a Luna. It's Luna. That's not going to do it. But yeah, there you go. Now he's going to kill Behemoth. There's no way out. Look at Behemoth. He's running up like, oh, I get a kill. Nope, never mind. Moraxis jumps in first. Look at that Hellfire. damage here. Moraxis alone, jeez. Yeah, that's what you can do with a Hellflower. Oh, are they actually catching the trample? No. <gasps> yep, yes. the mana oh, ripped to cancel. Boy. Here's the chase now. I don't know if, okay, oh, that's that slow with the Frostal Skull. Here comes the leech. He pops the shrunk and has to get out of here. Moraxis in pursuit. Yeah, you're going to kill him. Enough damage. Needs a couple more auto attacks. He's just rune cleaving off the creeps. Meanwhile, Behemoth comes in. Parasite still chasing. Finally gets the kill. And now Behemoth has to run, probably not successfully. He did buy back for that, by the way. Okay, he is actually going to escape, but that was a buyback used to try to save a tremble. And he unfortunately did not uh, did not do so. There's apparently another mouse issue here. Oh boy. That's unfortunate, but yeah, sheep stick on to Pebbles at least finished, but that's of course a big kill. He does have a buyback on Tremble. That's necessary. You saw the There's... work of that Frost of Skull, though. Yeah, they were able to just chase him down. They were way out of position. After they killed the Behemoth there, I can't... The Tremble was being too greedy. Mm -hmm. You need to get the hell out of there. <laughs> oh. Oh, Bubbles completely missed time to take cover right there. As uh, Pebbles also did a pretty good job of jumping in and then chucking him eventually. Um, he they actually, actually kill survived. Him. The Pebbles. Oh, nope. You were saying <laughs> he does not. Well, I guess he forgot that Luna. Yeah, she'll frustrate. That's just something you. Dick might forget. Well, at least they turn it as well. So not going to force the buyback on a tremble, it looks like, as Mage Bane jumps in here. There's a quick stun, though, to prevent him. I mean, you do see that, again, the stuns are pretty intense, and if these team fights break out, Mage Bane, without that shrunken, could be in some trouble. Parasite going really deep. Wow. This is a very Glad deep dive here from the Legion team. Now, it works out initially. And Tremble is refusing to buy back. It's still, it's not enough. It's so little time left that he doesn't want to. So they get the kill, but now will they keep going? Probably not. They are gonna get the tower though. Ooh, yeah, there we go. All right, so they get the tower just like the bottom lane. So now both the bottom and the top, the barracks are exposed here. A lot of room to work with, and this is where you can also start seeing the Mage Bane split pushing happening. Uh, we haven't really seen a lot of that yet from Calibine. No, he has all these stats on the Geo Bane. He can kill towers so fast. Yeah. But uh, he's been opting to just take the safe farm until now. Staying safe. He could. He, he's he's farming probably, away. He's probably gonna get rid of that. Uh, the uh, Mystic Vestment, right? And. Buy something else. I here. was hoping for a shrunken head, but I don't know. It might just be a behemoth sword. Meanwhile, five breaking out at the bottom rune area. Tremble's trying to pour it up, but again, the mana roof cancels it. And now here we go. He's trying to try to hold his ground. So screw it. I gotta fight this. It's not gonna work. He's though. hitting too slow. Yep. That, that frost speed is slow. not enough with a frost wolf on him. That's so right. Yeah. It's one thing about the this move speed slow, but the attack speed slow. You could tell right there. Tremble. He just his attacks were not happening quickly. That's what I was thinking about the wing bow. He needs that attack speed, sort of, because what does he have? He has 40 attack speed from the Thunderclaw, and that's it. Yeah. Man, what Trouble doesn't have the greatest ag agility game. Do? It does minus 20% attack, so okay. Is it percent? Yeah, it yeah, says it 20%, yeah. Okay. Well, no shrunken, that's a token instead. We'll take that. And he's going to be able to buy an item once that token wears off or gets used, whatever it is. As he's already sitting on 5,400 gold here, so. There's a last outer tower killed. And this lead is one that Nightmare Knights, it would be, uh, it would be something if they did not come through with a victory here. It was 10k to 10k 10k lead for so long, but now it just exploded all of a sudden. Yep. A couple of kills on Tremble help with that. 
and they get another tower kill. So they haven't killed any of the racks yet, but they've killed all the base towers now. <laughs> Again, they're just not stressed about it. They, uh, uh, they're the initiate on Gladiator. Yeah, Bubble says it's time. Mage Bane follows. Here comes a call to arms. Tremble is up. The Mana Rift is not enough either. And he will survive. Shock move in the background. Parasite does go down. Shell Surf coming on through. Pebbles, though, and Behemoth did end up dying. So the numbers say Legion team does come out on top in the end. And Mage Man well alive. I mean, he still has a lot of time on that token even. Another combo on him right here. Again, no shrunken, but he is pretty tanky. The Stomp coming out. You see the Mage Man now turning attention to Tremble, who has that shrunken. But the auto attacks proving to be so much damage. Tremble literally just running the whole fight there rather than doing damage himself. So the racks go down middle, and now Mage Man wants top. Mage Man's pretty confident at this point that he just can't be stopped. I think he's right. Uh, yes, 7.5k gold after the token's out. Look at this, he's still just gonna, again, he still has the token, exactly. He's just gonna keep going in, because he knows even if he does die, they're doing all this work just to kill him when he had half-life at the beginning, and they're not even going to kill him. They're trying yeah, to kill him. He could just have bought that Behemoth's heart. He could just have gone to the Behemoth's heart and given the token to someone else. Yeah, might as well have at this rate. He does finally go down. All right, now he's by himself, actually. As he comes back up, he's trying to blink this whole time. There's a Geometer's Bane. Now he's trying to turn it on to Tremble, even. Oh, no. He blinks away. Uh oh, misses the toss. Oh, there we go. All right, he's absolutely okay. And even if he died, it wouldn't matter. No. 8.5k gold. Yeah. So here goes whatever that final item essentially is going to be, or right? you know the next item. But well, I guess we'll see here. What is it by? Beam with start. There you go. I would have liked to see the trunken, but this way there's just there's no big way to fuck up. <laughs> oh, yeah, see. And then it's I don't know if they saw that or just like they were talking it over and they're just like yeah okay it's over. Um, and then I don't think point. it matters that much. No. They were all at three points, so they didn't have much hope of going on with four. No. All right, so game two uh, goes to uh, goes to Nightmare Knights, and that means Nightmare Knights will start off really strong here in their debut in the group stages. They start off with that three points here, uh, going 1-0-0, so congratulations to them. We'll see how they continue their fare moving forward here. Going to be a very busy weekend for them. They have six matches now uh, throughout Saturday and Sunday. They, they play, play every here. single game. This was the this oh, was their yeah. first one. So yeah, they play everyone else now. They Saturday must play every Saturday. single possible time. Uh, they do. 18, 20, yep. 22, both days. You are correct. That's six games a day. Yeah, in a row. <laughs> well, I hope the viewers don't get tired of watching Nightmare Nights. Then <laughs> it's going to be a lot of <laughs> Nightmare action. There's going to be a lot of them. Yeah, we, we there are other series happening at the same time of each of those. So it's not going to always All be right. them as far as coverage goes. But uh, yeah, we'll probably you know bounce back and forth. I'm sure.